Welcome back everyone to a new episode. As you can see, we have finally added a new section to the layout. The new section is five foot by one and a half feet wide, and it is made up of the exact same materials as the first section of the layout. So the major reason why I finally added the new section was because Home Depot actually had my shelves in stock. It's these HDX storage units and they cost about $35 a piece. They work perfect for my situation and are quite durable. How I attached everything is pretty simple. I just used some brackets I already had and I screwed them together on both sides. As for the progress on this layout, all I'll be doing this episode is painting the sides of it black. What I like to use is this chalkboard paint that I get from the Dollar Tree. It leaves the perfect matte finish. Although I did add the new section, my main focus this episode will be this part right here. One thing I did off camera was add this part of the sidewalk just to make it more complete and it was just kind of missing it beforehand. Some slight weathering was also added to the parking lot with some dry brush technique and a very little bit of dirt and glue. And the reason why I did this was so I could separate the actual lot and the actual road. Plus it looks more realistic this way. First up is the Static King Grass Applicator. The grass I'll be using is the 4mm light green grass. In my case, I'll be using a 9 volt battery. They do have a plug-in adapter that works much better, but this will be okay for now. Time to finally get some green on the layout. Here I don't do the best job of applying the grass, you have to keep the metal conductor on the glue at all times for it to work properly. And you must gently shake about an inch above the glue. Mine still does come out pretty good, but the next time I'll have to get the technique down a little bit better. When I do vacuum up the grass, I put a thin sock over the whole of it so I could capture it and use the grass later on. Here's how it came out. I'm actually pretty happy with it, even though I didn't do it 100% correctly. Next up is the few items I will be adding to the scenery. First up are these birch trees by Woodland Scenics. Then we have telephone poles by Atlas. Lastly are these stop signs made by JL Innovative Design. I'll be placing tree number one here in the middle of the dirt patch. Like I said, this is a birch tree and they are actually located in Colorado. I will not be using this bottom piece though. Placing it was easy. I just put a little bit of tacky glue on the bottom of it and I placed it in the foam. Now one thing I do want to mention is that when you're buying trees for your own layout, make sure that they're large. Now this is a semi-large tree obviously in comparison to the building, but trees in real life are big. You want them to be triple, quadruple the size of your actual train. Just a little tip. Next up is the stop signs. And the process, of course, is the exact same as the tree. This one was a little bit more stubborn though. But we did get it done. And I did actually put some dirt on the bottom of it to cover up the hole and I glued it down with my Mod Podge and water mix. Now time for the telephone poles. As you can see, I've already painted half of them, just to show the difference between what it's like when it's not painted and when it's painted. I just used the same paint I used from when I sprayed the track. And I did paint the electrical boxes gray. The next few clips are just the preparation I took before I actually placed them on the layout.
Now the poles are ready to be placed on the layout. And if you did notice, I did have my Dash 9 out on display only because it is only a DC train. But hopefully sometime I'll get DCC installed into it. The first pole will go here and I'm using a small screwdriver to poke the holes into the dirt. The next pole will be placed exactly one foot away. It's nice to see these smaller little details pop up on the layout. This last part here is just me using the Static King properly and going over some more areas with the grass. So we are coming to the end of the episode and of course I always include some clips of the progress we made. Now it may not seem like a lot of progress but when you're filming it and thinking about it, it is kind of a long process. Of course I would like to get more done but there is only so much time in the day. All these little details really add up and they make the layout look so much more realistic. And the scary part is we're just barely starting out. All right, that's gonna be a wrap on episode 12 of my layout build. As usual, I appreciate you guys watching and tuning in. And I do wanna ask you guys, if you have any suggestions of what you wanna see on the channel, please drop them down in the comments below. I would love to hear your critiques. Maybe if you wanna see more of the layout build, maybe if you wanna see reviews, if you wanna see dioramas, I would love to know because I want to cater this channel to you guys. So on that note, I will catch you guys in next week's episode.